Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to use AWS Glue Data Video for data transformations analysis and uh, S3 bucket as a source data uh, where we'll upload the S3 CSV file and AWS S3 for output folder. I'm going to use that in a two tab or uh, like in CSV file one for that in let's say employee.csv where we have a EID name department ID DID and age and then in department CSV we will be have a department ID department name and many more so let's do that in a demo I'm in AWS console and uh, just we have to type the AWS glue or data view directly if you type the uh, AWS glue then it will become then here you'll be get or you can type that in a data view you'll be see something like that and you say AWS data glue view is the for cleaning and normalizing the data up to 80% faster with help of uh, these tools. I'll be shared that in this link uh, uh, in that in descriptions where you'll be get the documentation. So I'm going to use the create a project, right? And uh, uh, before doing this one, the services is a, uh, like, you know, it's a charge. So please make sure whenever you are using, it's a chargeable service. Click on the create a project. I'm just using the YouTube demo data view and you can see at the same time the recipe also creating right and uh, as of now we don't have any data set so I'll create it and I'll use that in a data set as a YouTube the demo uh, data set DS and that in a I have already uploaded that in a, a file in S3 bucket so I'm referring if you don't know how to use it then uh, you can uh, watch that in my previous video I'll tag it into it okay so here I'm going to use that in S3 bucket okay already it is a displaying so we have here uh, input data for that in a blue and you can see it's a employee and department so first I'm going to create a data set for the DNA employee right and uh, it's a semicolon right so I'll choose that in a semicolon and we can click on the preview so data will be displayed in the grid format which is look like a perfectly fine click on the done and now um, we can choose that in these are the permissions and all so rules is required as you know so rules is already created I'm just selecting if it is not then you have to click on the create okay now almost everything is done what it is needed for the uh, like an employee table or first data set so I'm going to click on the create a project uh, at the same time once this project is creating after that I'll add that in another data set as well for that in a department once this is getting a success okay I'll wait for that yeah so employee data set is getting created with a uh, uh, projects so one data set and one project and one recipe it's uh, going to be created ideally it will be take a uh, one minute of a uh, time for these uh, steps
all oh, right so it's created transformations we are going to do it a bit later i'll create that in another data set so here you can see for employee one is already created i'll click on the connect and create another data set i'll put that in a department and or youtube dmo data set for dpt department all right i'll choose that in a uh, bucket name uh sorry bucket name is already there so i'll choose that in this is input folder and you can see the department one is there i'll select it all the way down we have to choose that in a semicolon and now we can preview that in a data okay here we have a preview button and the department data is loaded department id name and uh, created by and so and so forth okay so after that and i'll click on that in a create button okay yeah create button is not there create a data set so data set is going to be created so we have here one employee and another one is a department i'll go to the project by default one project will be associated with one table initially and this is there for the employee one i'll open that in this project and you can see uh, it is displaying that in here this is that in a uh, table we have a uh, demo ds but it is a actual table is the employee one and then we can also represent in that in a linear in that in a uh, diagram way right so here you can see it's a s3 bucket employee.csv then data set then project and then final recipe output is not configured yet it will be done in the project so now again i'll be go to the project and uh, here we can do that in a transformations for example let's say you want to change that in a column right or rename that in a column so here we have options what column you want to change it let's say did instead of a did you can say dpt right id right and apply it so you can see instead of a uh, did it will become as a department id right you can also do that in a, a column duplicate delete you can move it left and right and many more you can also use that in these are the other functions and uh, now we want to join this employee table to the department so how to do we have a concept called a recipe we have to click on this recipe and there is a plus symbols we have just we have to click it here and just type that in a join right so multi join the multiple data set before joining this one you have to make sure you have a two data set at least okay and this one will be work on the two data set only otherwise you have to create a uh, new job for that so now you can see we have a department id and we have a uh, employee id is already there so we'll say that in a next okay now it is asking that in a join okay so we'll say that in which type of a join you are looking for uh, I start with a inner join so in table i'll say that in a department id and in table y which will be have a department we'll say that in a department now it is you can see here these are the column it is displaying so what we'll do here there is a department id and this did is not required to display it uh, so we'll see that in a finish now these are the columns we have dropped it which is not required just for the joining purpose and you can see it's a recipe is getting created and with help of that recipe will be have a uh, now the join with a two table uh, the next activity we have uh, to create a job now if i'll go into that in linear view which is, which is that in a graphical way so you can see we have a s3 bucket and two data set is there and with help of a join it's getting join and then recipe is there so finally we have to create a uh, jobs and in jobs will keep it the output of the whatever uh, we have for the join so i'm going to click on the create jobs or here also we have a option so here i'm doing the create a job okay and i'll keep that in a youtube in demo okay data b r u w job okay 
and then here it is asking these are the recipe we have and what is the output you are looking for so output will say that in hey i'm looking for the output compressions type as a none and in output we are looking for in csv format and then i'll choose that in a browser and here we have a output folder before that i'll check that in a output folder is having something or it is a blank so i'll be go to that in a s3 bucket and if some data is there then i'll make it a um, blank for that okay so s3 and then output we have to go so i'll be go to the output folder and that output folder nothing is there which is good and uh, you can see here now uh, what happened the csv file will be created restored into that in s3 bucket and we'll just need to choose the permission so i am role i have selected and click on that in a create job so the job will be created with a output okay on output it will be referred from that in a you can see that in a recipe which is recipe is selected okay so with help of that join the output will be created we'll wait for that until unless its job is getting created once job is created then we'll be have a run options okay so now we have a run a run a job so the uh, okay so now uh, it's got success this job i'll be go to that in s3 folder where i have a output and now you can see uh, that in a in output folder one folder will be created and followed by the output data will be there so here we have uh, we need to just for download purpose i'll make it a permissions as a, a read uh, acl because this bucket i have make it a public uh, uh for your uh, private project don't put it so you can download it in anywhere in that in your ec server with help of a uh, um, s3 bucket aws cli commands or whatever other approach you have here you can see that in s3 uh, a csv file got downloaded and this csv file will be have that in a only informations without the department type.